What is up? It's Alfred here. What is actually the difference between Ordinary I Ching and King Wen Oracle? Both are using hexagram with moving lines to explain the future. Well, you can see both of them like this. Ordinary I Ching is Bruce Wayne and King Wen Oracle is the Batman. I Ching can perform very basic prediction but it can't really help in everyday life decision making, especially when you're in an urgent matter. How do you consult with I Ching which direction to go from now if you're lost in the jungle? And you know there are so many hungry creatures hunting on you right now. Can I Ching tell you to go to the north or to the west right now? No way it can be done. So you use your intuition with I Ching. What if you are in a bad luck? If you learn puzzles or some other Chinese astrology, you will definitely understand that if a person is in bad luck, he or her intuition will definitely bring shit in. So you are making a bet with your own life, risking yourself with your own destiny and 80% of the outcome brings a life of regret. A horrible decision. Really. Perhaps you would say this example is too extreme, not a problem if you say that. Let's take a simple one. How can you know how exactly is a future spouse like? King One Oracle can tell you he or she is located 5.7 km east from your current location and he or she is 172cm height. He or she is a bodybuilder. Can each in text or statement or whatever commentary tell you all this? No way, right? So you see here, like Bruce Wayne, he himself is a ninja. He learns how to fight like a ninja. Although he still can fight without a bad suit, but without a bad suit, no matter how strong he is, there is no way he could glide from 80 stories building and land safely. No way he could be bulletproof. Without a bad suit, ninja is still a human. A normal human can only perform a normal fight, like ordinary aging that do a very normal prediction. The best suit will be something like the King Wood Oracle system. It is an armor that making the ordinary aging better. When back to the aging daily application, how do we put on the best suit so that the aging can now become a King Wood Oracle? This is what will be revealed in this video. Once you put up the armor to the ordinary aging, Basically, you could predict anything in detail as you wish. Precise, accurate is what the King of Oracle can offer to you. Let's dive in now. Once you have done the cast with the coins, you need to draw out the entire hexagram system. Before I show you how to draw the entire system, first let me show you how does the King Wen chart looks like. This is the two hexagram that you can see from everywhere as long as we are using I Ching, which is the Bruce Wayne, he himself. Now we need to plot the six guardians which are showing over here. Then we need to also plot the earthly branches. The 12 earthly branches are those here that next to the hexagram. Then we need to find the six skins and write it next to the 12 earthly branches. These six skins are generated from the hexagram palace. I had explained about the hexagram palace in this video. This video shows how we transform the eight trigrams to 64 hexagrams with a proper formula. Then we need to find out the day emptiness or you may call it the day void. I will explain what is the day void in this video later. After all, the accessory installed, now Bruce Wayne is the Batman that ready to fight for the city. The steps for all the plugins here are different from each of the diviners. However, to make your learning easier, you can write down and follow these steps where I am using. At the end of this video, I will also prepare a cheat sheet for you. Remember to go to my website and download it in the description area. Some diviners or some of the King Wen Oracle Classical will use auxiliary stars to help in details information. For example, a question asking about how is the cancer treatment. With this hexagram, without the auxiliary stars, the answer to be concluded is not safe to go for the treatment. But with the aid from the auxiliary stars, you can explain further like this. He will get killed only when he let Dr. David do surgery on him, but he is safe during the rest of the treatment. Now you see the huge difference if you explain without the tiny details. The quarant will definitely drop out the entire treatment if he thought that he is hopeless. But in fact, changing the doctor will save him entirely. The doctor is the sickness on this hexagram, not the cancer. Simply removing the sickness as indicating on the hexagram will solve your root problem. Sometimes to have a better destiny is not that difficult as you may think of. But if you provide the wrong prediction, you are killing him indirectly. 
70% of the time, we dig more detail from the prediction if we take those stars into consideration. Some common auxiliary stars that I've always used are something like the traveling horse star, the stars of aggressions, the peach blossom, the core of hexagram. If possible, always use computer generated hexagram plotter. As you may see from here, there is so much plugin you need to draw them out one by one. It is so easy to make a mistake. Back to the time when the computer and the internet weren't popular, even the professional diviners will be drawing the hexagram wrongly. Leave this simple task to the computer and we need only learn how to interpret. However, you need to understand how does this chart work, especially when you wanted to predict something very, very deep. Let's now start from scratch. After we cast, we got this result. With the yin and yang, we come out with the hexagram now. For the yin and yang, please go to this video to understand how it was being formed. We got the first hexagram of the fire over thunder with the moving lines at the first and the third line. After the moving line, the transform hexagram will be like this. Now, we shall find the self and object line. The self line for the first hexagram is on the fifth line. Jump another two lines to create the object line. We don't need self and object line on the second hexagram. We have done step one. From step one, we could see that when we flip at the fifth line, the upper and the lower trigram having the same trigram. This is the Xun Palace. I know some people will starting to get confused at this step. The upper and lower trigram doesn't appear to be Xun trigram, but I am saying it is a Xun Palace. If you have watched this video and done some practice, you shall understand why it is a Xun Palace and will also know where to get the self and object line. If you don't understand, you need to go back and watch this video. This has done step 2, getting the hexagram palace. Now let's go for the step 3, bring in the earthly branches. In my earlier time of learning the King Wen Oracle, there are so much to memorize when we need to manually plot out the King Wen Oracle chart. You are lucky that I have done a summary of this cheat sheet so that you don't need to memorize so many things. Let's now look at this Na Zi summary chart. Let's first bring in the lower trigram at the first hexagram, trigram. This is a thunder trigram. From my summary chart, the branches are zi, yin, chen. Now, let's bring in the branches for the upper trigram. This is fire trigram. From my chart, it shows that yo, wei, si. This has now completed the earthly branches for the first hexagram. Let's keep going on the transform hexagram. Pause the video now to see if you can get the correct branches. Right, how did you go? Have you managed to bring in the correct branches as I have shown you here? This completed step 3. Now, let me keep showing you how to manually find out the 12 earthly branches if you never had my cheat sheet handy. While you keep watching from this video, if you don't understand anything about the 12 earthly branches and how to apply with the palm mnemonic, you will have to go to this video where I had covered the basic 12 earthly branches that you need to know. What is the palm mnemonic? Have you ever seen that the Chinese fortune teller that always pinching their finger? Once they pinch their finger, they can predict everything. Let me show you how to do it right now. Take out your palm now and let your palm become the mnemonic. If you could remember this video where I had shown the location for the 12 earthly branches, then you could simply place the square shape of the earthly branches into your palm. What you need to remember in this video is the hexagram palace location on your palm. Always remember, no matter what you are learning, everything has yin and yang. So let's get the yang palace first. Yang palace are the qian, zhen, kan, gen. Qian, the father, and zhen, the elder, located at this point. Kan, the middle, located at this point. And gen, the youngest, located at this point. If you can't get with me, why is Qian Zhen Kan Gen a Yang hexagram? Please watch this video here where I had explained how to differentiate the Yin and Yang of the hexagram. From the 12 earthly branches mnemonic, we see that the Qian and Zhen are at the location of Zi water. Kan is at the location of Yin wood. And Gen is at the location of Chen earth. Remember this sequence now. Yang clockwise and yin anticlockwise. It means when the branches drop at yang, then we shall go with clockwise. Let me show you how here. For this hexagram, the lower trigram is zhen trigram. Zhen is yang and located at zi. 
So the first line is also zi. Simple, isn't it? Now the second line goes with clockwise. Remember again, yang trigram only goes with yang branches. So after zi, the next yang branch is yi wood. Then the second line is yi. Then the third line following with the same principle. Pause the video now to see if you can get the same branches with me. The third line is Chen Earth. Now, we have done the lower trigram. We need to complete the branches for the upper trigram. Applying the same rules, the first step, check what is the trigram. This is Li trigram. Li trigram will be located at the Mao Wood. Li trigram is Ying trigram. Ying trigram needs to go with the direction of anti-clockwise. So, the first line shall be Mao Wood. But we shouldn't replace the Zi water to the Mao Wood because the Mao Wood is generated from the Li trigram and this is Zhen trigram. So we hide the Mao Wood instead. After Mao will be Chou Earth. We also hide it. Then we will again hide high water on the third line. Then again on the fourth line, it is You Metal. We need to write it down now as it is belong to Li trigram that shown. Then Wei Earth on the fifth line and Si Fire on the sixth line. You can remember the Yang branches sequence like this. Zi, Ying, Chen, Wu, Shen, Xu. And for the Yin branches are Wei, Si, Mao, Chou, Hai, Yu. I already explained about the Yin and Yang branches at this video. Go to this video to make yourself familiar with this. Always mumbling with this and you will memorize them with no more than two days. This sequence is very useful, especially if you wanted to learn further into Feng Shui. This is why I have decided to spend my time here making this subtopic of this video. So that letting you understand more. I know it is something a little bit challenging. You may not need to be like a proficient level for this part, but I think it is good for you to have some knowledge here. To conclude this step three, yang hexagram pair with yang branches and pinch it clockwise direction. Yin hexagram pair with yin branches and pinch it anti-clockwise. Now you can try on the transform hexagram to see did you get the same as mine. Right. We shall bring in the six skins after the step three. The six skins from the step four is related to the five elements. To fill up the six skins, you need to compare the five elements between the hexagram palace and the earthly branches. The example of this hexagram is Xun Palace. Xun belong to wood element. If you're not sure why Xun Palace is the wood element, make sure you watch this video as I had explained them clearly over this video. Comment down below if you still can't catch up with me. Now, we have taken the 12 branches we had plugged in previously and compared with the hexagram palace. Let's start from the first line on the first hexagram. This is the water. Wood from the palace generated water. These six skins for the lines is a parent line. Second line is yin wood. Wood from the palace pier with the yin wood. This is sibling line. The third line is chen earth. Wood palace restricted to the third line. This is wife line or wealth line. The fourth line is your metal. The metal will control over the wood palace. This is the official line. The fifth line is the way earth. This line of earth and the fourth line of earth is the same. This is another wealth line, but different in branches. Although it has the same six skins, but with the different branches, it will make a big difference in prediction outcome. Stay tuned with me so that you know what is the difference in the later episode. Now we left the sixth line which is the Si Fire line. When comparing the Si Fire with the Wood Palace, the sixth line will bring in Offspring line. We have completed the first hexagram right now. As I have done how to bring in the first six skins on the first hexagram, I will not demonstrate again on the transform hexagram. However, that is one very important concept I have to tell you here. The six skin source has to be only from one palace and the only one shall be the hexagram palace from the first hexagram. I know some may say that the transform hexagram has to use the transform palace. I won't tell who it is as I don't mean to suspend their income. Generally, you can set and define the hexagram by yourself but this kind of setting won't be correct as it will create another contradiction with the outcome. Anyway, this involves a big framework to get you explained, so it will not be discussed and disclosed in this video. Pause this video now if you wanted to try out yourself on the transform hexagram. Right, have you got the same six skins with me? This is now completed step 4. 
This four step I have covered this video is somewhat with a constant formula. It means the formation is fixed. The next two steps need a variable and this variable is the day when we cast. This video has been explaining too long and I will explain the rest in the coming up video. Now, you can start to do some exercise and see if you could understand what have I explained over here. If you manage to complete a few exercises but still can't make it right, please comment down below and let me know which step you can make it. If the explanation of this video is too complicated with many comments, I will consider making another video to explain in much detail way. Subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out the next two steps. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video, share this video so that anyone could learn to predict. I'll see you in the next video.